Hello, this is a very short podcast on how to use Vensim as a modeling tool. Um, you should have downloaded and installed Vensim by now uh, based on the instructions you received in class. So when I open Vensim for the first time, this is the menu that I see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a population dynamics model. So we're going to have some amount of, of people uh, in our model and we're going to have people get born and have people die. So I'm going to start by coming up and clicking on a box variable and when I click on that I'm going to click down in the space you get a box like that and I'm going to call that variable population and hit the enter key. And what you see there is you get a box uh, it's called a box variable in some other programming languages we call that a stock. And what that means is that in that box are some number of people, and we'll define that later on. So I'm going to now come up here and click on this thing that looks like an arrow with an hourglass in it. It's called a rate. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click over to the left and click and drag until I'm inside the box. And I'm going to call that rate burst. Okay, and I'm going to hit the type burst and hit the enter key. And you see there we now have a flow. Pay attention to which direction the arrow is going. Notice that the arrow is going into the box called population. You have a cloud on the left hand end there. That means we don't really care where the bursts are coming from. Uh, we just care that they're going into population. Okay, likewise, I can, it's already selected, but if I need to reselect it, I can select rate again. I'm going to click in the middle of population and drag out. And I'm going to call this deaths and hit the enter key. So that's my basic model so far. So what I have is people are coming into the population box by being born. People are going out of the population box by dying. Okay. Um, what I need now is I need a variable. And that I'm going to click on variable and I'm going to put it anywhere you want. But that's going to be called the birth rate. So I'm going to type in birth rate and hit the enter key. Likewise, I'm going to come over here. If there's a birth rate, there's probably going to be a death rate. And I'm going to type death rate and hit the enter key. And the relationship here is, and I'm going to click on an arrow to show this, that the birth rate has an impact on the number of people that are born. Okay? Likewise, the death rate has an impact on the number of people that die. Okay? Likewise, okay, the number of people that are available has an impact on the birth rate, which you'll see a little bit later. I can, by the way, I can come up here and I can click on the hand. I can grab the little circle there and move the arrow around so it's a little bit out of the way. I'm going to go back and grab another arrow and put an arrow down here uh, for, um, for a connection of population to death rate. And you'll see here in a minute why why we're doing that. Okay, at this point I've got a uh, almost a complete model. I'm going to make sure I do a save. So I'm going to go up here and do a save and I'm going to call this model population model. You can call it whatever you want. Save it wherever you want it. Okay, so we've got the structure of our model. What I want to do now is define things. So I'm going to come up here and click on equations and see how everything turns back. I'm going to double click on my population here and what it's asking me for there since it's a box or a stock it wants to know my initial value so I'm going to say at the beginning I have a thousand people at the beginning and we can set units and do all that kind of stuff for now I'm just going to put in uh, 1000 notice that the equation for calculating my population is the number of births minus the number of deaths I hope that makes sense I'm going to click on the OK button here I'm going to come up here and double click on my birth rate and because uh, that's going to be a constant, I don't want that to change. And I'm just going to ar arbitrarily set my, my birth rate at 15%. So that at any given time, 15% um, of the population is producing a child. I'm going to click on OK. Likewise for death rate, I'm going to double click on that. And again, that's also a constant. And I'm going to make my my death rate 9% or 0 0.09. Click on OK. Notice that as I define things, things turn from black to white. Okay. I'm going to double click on bursts. And now the math here, notice down here you have some variables and we have to use those variables. So my equation up here is going to be the birth rate 
and I tend to want to click on them and not type them so I don't mess up any spelling. So I want birth rate times the population. That's my mathematics for this particular model. So I take that 15% birth rate, I multiply it by the existing population, and that'll give me the number of live births. I'm going to click on OK. And likewise, under deaths, I'm going to click on that. And again, I got variables down here. So that's death rate times population. There's all kinds of things that you can change here. Or that'll be for another time. Click on OK. And now notice that my equations button is still selected, but everything is white, which means everything is done there. I'm not quite ready yet. I'm going to go up under model and come down and hit settings. And primarily what th this is going to ask me is how, what's my runtime for this? So I want to run my model from a time starting at time zero and I want to run it for a hundred years and I want my time step typically to be something like I usually set mine at 0 0.25 as my beginning and my units for time my units are in years and if you've had calculus you'll understand integration type I almost always select RK4 auto if you've had calculus you might know what that means if you don't don't worry about it and just go ahead and select it so these are my settings I click the OK button and at this point I'm ready to run my model so I can come up here under simulation hit the simulate button and now it, it did run and we just didn't and if I run it again it's going to say do I want to overwrite it and I say yes we didn't see anything here so what I want to do is come down here I'm going to click on population come down and click on graph and there you see my graph. So on the x-axis it's going from a 0 to 100 years and on the y-axis it's showing my population uh, going from 0 uh, people to 600,000 people over 100 years. Okay. So that's basically how I run the model and that's a very short introduction to Vinsim and I hope this helps and we'll see you soon. Thanks.